give the call to the honourable member for Lindsay. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Treasurer. At a press conference in Homebush on the 29th of April 2022, the Treasurer said, on every shelf, in every shop, in every suburb, maybe he can name one, is a reminder of the cost of living crisis. This government has an excuse for everything. They want to talk about international comparisons. Australians couldn't give us stuff what inflation is in the United States. Will the Treasurer apologise to families in Western Sydney who have had nine rate rises under this government, making it even harder for them and their children? Order. Member O'Connor will cease interjecting before a minister speaks. And so will the member for Barker, who is now warned. Give the call to the Treasurer. Thanks very much, Mr Speaker, and thank you to the honourable member for her question. Uh, isn't it interesting, Mr Speaker, when those opposite talk about interest rate rises, they say there's been nine in a row. They seem to conveniently left off the fact that there's been ten in a row and they began Order. before government changed hands in May. That's Order. just the fact of the matter, Mr Speaker. As much as you might try and deny it, Order. that is the, the fact of the matter. Backs. And I also thank... I also thank the honourable member for reminding the House that the most acute quarter when it came to inflation in our economy was the March quarter of last year when those opposite were still in office. And as for the Order. comments that I made, as for the comments that I made then, I think it remains the case. It remains the case that in every part of our economy is a reminder that people are under pressure because the cost of living is unacceptably high. You know, and if the honourable member and those opposite were listening England. a moment ago, I ran through in some detail the three ways that we are looking to address the inflation problem in our economy. And it remains the case, it remains the case, as important as it is that we understand what's happening around the world, it remains the case. Order. It remains the case that the most important thing for Australians, it remains the case that the most important thing for Australians is what's happening to them. I stand by that. It's still the case. And that's why. Uh, the overwhelming focus of our economic plan, the overwhelming focus of our cabinet, the overwhelming focus of everybody here is the cost of living pressure Order. that Members people are left. under. Uh, and Member if you look Bikim. right across the board at all the economic data that was there in May, uh, what was abundantly clear is that the situation that we inherited from those opposite after a wasted decade of missed opportunities and warped priorities uh, was a difficult situation for Australian families and pensioners. And if they really cared about the cost Order. of living pressures that are on Australian families, they would have voted to help them with their power bills. But they didn't. They didn't do that. And so they had a decade. They Peru. had a decade, Mr. Speaker, to deal with the issues in our economy. They wasted that Deacon decade with their rejecting. messed up priorities. We inherited a mess from those opposite. We are doing our best to clean it up Order. on behalf of Australians who are still doing it the tough.